Hi friends, welcome back to the plant stand of Arizona. My name is Carmen Whitehead and today we are in their main greenhouse and I have some more beautiful plants to share with you. Now today's topic is pet friendly plants. If you're like me, you have a four-legged little friend at home. I know my Rosie is dear and true to my heart and I wanna make sure that she is safe around my plants. So I take the time to research and know what plants are safe for her to be around. So I have a nice selection here for you, different sizes and different varieties that I think will work in any home. Let's talk about Hoyas first. Hoyas are so popular right now. Here's a Hoya Australis, beautiful hanging plant. And you'll be happy to know that all of the Hoyas are pet friendly plants. So if your little cat wants to play with that little tendril that's hanging down and maybe take a little bite out of it, you won't have to worry. Your Hoya may not look so good, but the cat will be just fine. So Hoyas in general are pet friendly plants. And we have them here in different sizes too. That was a six inch hanging pot. This is a Hoya pubicalix that's in a four inch pot. So if you wanna start with a small plant, beautiful splash on that. Now another um, plant that all of them are set pet friendly and safe for your pets are the Calatheas. Here's the Calathea medallion. Beautiful color to the foliage. Look at the back of that foliage, isn't that brilliant? And these are safe for pets to be around. These are many times on uh, tables, uh, side tables, coffee tables, and you know, a pet can be a little bit curious about what that color is all about and don't worry about it, these are pet friendly. Such a huge selection in the Calatheas too. Here's another one with the Ornata. Look at that, isn't that brilliant? Beautiful selection, look at the underside of that leaf. You can add so much beauty to your home and be at, um, settled that your plants will not be hazardous to your pets. Here's another one. They come in four inch pots too. These Calatheas are such brilliant. You can add so much uh, color and texture to your home with these. So a huge variety. We have a Nornada right here. Beautiful with this unfurling leaf right here. Now these Calatheas do require some humidity to keep them happy and healthy, but that's no problem with a humidifier and you'll be um, happy to know that they're pet friendly. Now, you wanna go a little bit bigger. <laughs> Here we have a spider plant and look at these babies it's throwing off. This is an eight inch pot hanging. Now these little babies definitely will be tempting for any little cat or even a dog to kind of uh, hit with their little paw or maybe take a bite out of but that's no problem they are pet friendly and here at the plants and they do have them now I've seen them in different varieties they will come with the variation the um, white in the middle or on the outside or all green too so whichever variation you like they have it here I'm gonna get one that's in a six inch pot but they have the really nice eight inch pots here if you want to go a little bit bigger. Look how healthy that is with those babies. Now peperomias are another genus that is wonderful to have, easy to take care of. I treat mine kind of like succulents almost as far as the watering goes. Now their um, flowering isn't the most spectacular. This is actually them blooming right here. But how tempting is that for a cat? Hmm? No worries, it's pet friendly. And this little peperomia again has beautiful underside coloring. Have them in different sizes here. Beautiful genus. Now ferns is another classification that is pet friendly. This is one of my favorites here, bird's nest fern. Look how beautiful that is. Whoops, dropped a little soil there. And these, when you give them some humidity, I know it's Arizona and it's dry here, but you give them a little bit of humidity and you can have ferns here in Arizona. Now this Kimberly Queen fern here is designed specifically for drier climates. So this is a perfect fern to start off with here in Arizona. It doesn't require as much humidity and it's pet friendly. So it's a, a double bargain there. 
They have them here in a four inch pot that you can start off with and see how you do and see how your pet does. If they're not accustomed to having plants around, maybe this is something that you can start them off with and see how they do and kind of train them to have some plants around. Now look at these beauties. Aren't these wonderful? These palms here, these little parlor palms come in four inch pots beautiful size to start off with but look how big it is for a little four inch pot so this is wonderful on a side table and you'll get your pets used to having plants around them this can be enticing to take a little bite out of but don't worry about it this is pet friendly look at that now we do have them down below here in a little bit larger size so if you want to do more of a statement plant then you can have the larger size too and all of these palms and the ponytail palm in front here is uh, pet friendly so you can have that statement plant in your living room dining room corner and be assured that your pets are going to be just fine with them now we have here the Pachira aquatica that's a fancy name, but you probably know it as a money tree. We have it as a stump form. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? If you like something with a little bit bigger stump or the more traditional braided form. And look how healthy these look. Now I have been told that they found even one with a variegation here. So that's something to look forward to also. And these are wonderful because you can get them in a smaller size like this for a desk a uh, table, a little uh, bookshelf, or they have them also in larger form, which are really magnificent, especially in the braided form, to put in as a statement plant and have that um, reassurance that they are pet friendly. Look at that. And we all need a money tree for a little luck, don't we? Well, there you have it, friends. Those are the pet-friendly plants that they have here at the plant stand of Arizona. Their staff knows exactly which ones they are, so you can ask them if you're not quite sure if that plant is pet-friendly for you. And if they're not available, you can ask Bentley here, and he will give you the lowdown on the plant and if it's pet-friendly or not. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you in the next video.